Hi guys! Happy Jeju Day with Gina. Today, Gina is going to talk about six things you must do in Jeju Island. Number one, best restaurants that you must go, you will regret if you miss it. Number two, best dessert cafe with the best views where you can take unforgettable pictures. Look at the view! Wow! <laughs> Number three, best beach where you can relax, walk by, and dance at the same time. Number four, best beach for a sunset and a drive. Number five, best fall with the cold water and cool wind. Last but not least, the best spot for the stars. By the way, I visited the place, the Jeju Island, when the number of confirmed in Jeju was none. So no worries. I know it is not the best season to travel, so hope you can enjoy Jeju through this trip video. And feel the attractive island in various aspects that I will explain soon. Here goes Gina who is full of eager to have the most fun so she can win the Jeju battle against Mina. Here it goes! A video trip to Jeju with Gina Choi! Let's go! This is the Kimpo Airport where I departed to Jeju. There's me! And it's the inside the airline. And here it is Jeju Airport. You can totally tell, right? Not only because of the Tol Haribang, or in English, Grandpa Rock, which represents Jeju, but also because of Hypergina. So now let's talk about must go and must eat in six different categories. Hello, guys! Today I'm going to introduce one of the Kasongbi Matip, in other words, cost efficient restaurant in Jeju Island. Here I'm going to eat one Kaltigui and one Okdongbui. Those are both very famous fishes that you must eat if you visit Jeju. Okay, so let's go eat. Check it out. Ah, there. Right. The first restaurant is Pengdihan. As you can see, you can enjoy Jeju fishes here. And the price is very reasonable. I know that there are a lot of restaurants in Jeju that are really, really expensive, but not here. So trust me, it's the best place to have the best food at a cheap price. Number two, Tokani. As you can see, the outside of the restaurant is so relaxed and comfortable. And inside there is something very mysterious. There is Tokuki with the octopus on it. If you love seafood and Tokuki, I bet this is the best combination for you. Wow! Oh my goodness! Do you see how the octopus is in the tteokbokki? This is how the tteokbokki of Jeju Island looks like. <laughs> Even tteokbokki has seafood in it. Number three, it's Totori Kitchen. Here you can taste Cheonggyu Soba. This is a combination of the Japanese noodle Soba and Cheonggyu, which is tangerine in Korean. And tangerine is the representative fruit of Jeju Island. You can taste tangerine, but at the same time, you can taste the Oriental Japanese Soba here. So you might want to try since you can only taste it in Jeju Island. Mm. 
Number four, Tamda. At this restaurant, you can taste Gumal Kalbusu. Kalbusu is one type of Korean noodle, and Gumal is one type of seafood that you can taste in Jeju Island. As you can see, the color of the noodle, the soup, is very, very green. And obviously, it is really healthy as it looks. But not only that, it's so tasty that my eyes almost popped out. If you are a noodle lover, Gumal Kalbutsu is the must eat food in Jeju Island. Number five, it's rooftop bar. Of course, there are a lot of rooftop bars in many countries. However, in Jeju Island, rooftop bar is a very nice place to go since it's not that expensive. Oh my goodness, I love this music. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And the chicken here I ordered was so crispy that I still remember even I came back to Seoul. Can you hear the crispy sound? Did you hear the sound? Crispy, crispy. And one more thing, but I'm not going to introduce it deeply since Mina dealt with it in the last video. Samgyeopsal is one of the most famous food in Jeju Island and thus you must try it. Oh man, I had about three servings by myself. So chewy. The best Samgyeopsal that I've ever had in my life. Don't forget to eat it with kimchi. Now for the dessert. First, Sanduru. This is a new cafe that became popular these days. As you can see, it's really really clean and full of Greenness. In the cafe, they sell a lot of desserts that are made of green tea. So I ordered one green tea latte and one green tea dessert, which was very, very tasty. Even though it's a little bit expensive than normal cafes, you can enjoy this view and you can relax here with the sunlight. Oh my goodness, this garden was so pretty as well. I totally recommend this place. Hello guys! I am at one of the mango pingsu restaurants that I really wanted to recommend you. I know that there are a lot of pingsu restaurants in Jeju Island and obviously they're really 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 expensive. They're over $25. So I found good pingsu restaurant which is much much cheaper and you can also enjoy the view like this. Doesn't it remind you of Hawaii or any other places that you've seen? It's awesome right? Guys, oh my goodness, it looks so good. Okay, I'll show you. Here it goes, it's really, really hot. Could you take a picture of me? Number three, best beach in the daytime for walk. Okay guys, I am here at one of the cafes that are very famous and anywhere. As you can see, you will be able to enjoy the view of Handam Hebyan. So the Handam Hebyan is one of the oceans that I really suggest recommend you to visit as it is very wide and very clean. The color of the ocean, the sea, is emerald. This ocean makes me think of a lot of things. Oh my goodness, it's so clean that I can see the rocks and the sea inside the sea. Did you want to enjoy it with me? Oh my goodness! Even though the sunlight is so strong and it totally makes me scream out that it's summer but I don't really feel hot because of the wind. You know Jeju is well known for three things and the first is rock, second is wind, and third is women. And that's why Jeju Island is called Samdado. 
Sam is three, Ta is a lot, and Tu is island. So island that has three things a lot. And that is, again, rock, wind, and women. And here is one of the women. Ah, the view just makes me scream out like, wow. And I can't say anything else because it's so amazing and pretty. I really hope that you can actually visit Handan Hebyeon and check out this view by yourself with your eyes. The best beach you can have fun and walk by in the daytime. Number four, the best beach you can enjoy the sunset in the evening. Don't you think it's so pretty? Do you see the sunset there? This video is what Gina Choi took by herself. Yes, I did. Isn't it so romantic? Do you see the sun right above me? I caught it! I loved this picture so much. You can take unforgettable pictures here. And this beach that I recommend is Kim Nung Hae But you can also enjoy other beaches as well. If you rent a car, you can drive around different ocean. Do you see how it's peaceful and relaxing? Please take the best time of this. Please enjoy this view by yourself. So we are on our way to Wonang Pokpo. Wonang Fall. And Pokpo is fall. And it is located at Hallasan, Halla Mountain. Let's go. Oh my goodness, Gina was so excited to have so much fun right there. Do you see the emerald color of the waterfall? There were so many people, so many kids, so many family members enjoying the waterfall and enjoying the cold water and the wind and everything was perfect. Oh my goodness, I was so cold that I couldn't just stay. Okay, there's me. Oh my goodness, I fell. One more time. <laughs> the guy was surprised. <laughs> oh well. If you have a chance, please come visit this waterfall so you can enjoy the cold, cold, cold water in this hot, hot summer. Last but not least, I am going to introduce you the Tonbekgoji, which is the best spot to see the stars of Jeju most clearly. Oh my goodness, can you believe that these are the pictures that I took with my cell phone? These stars were actually right above my head and they were about to fall. I can't forget the scene where I could see all the stars in the sky. Did you like the video? I really hope that this video was helpful and entertaining. You know, due to the pandemic, not many people can come to Jeju Island. So I prepared this video trip to Jeju. So if you liked this video, please press like and subscribe. And please don't forget to hit the alarm button. I really hope you have an opportunity to come to Jeju Island and enjoy all of the places and spots that I introduced in this video. Bye-bye! Don't you think Gina already won? Hope you vote for Gina in this battle between Nina and Gina. <laughs> hope you have a chance to enjoy Jeju Island soon so you can have fun just like me. See you later in other videos about lovely Korea.